Hey what's up guys, I'm over here and welcome back to a brand new video here today and welcome to playing the Imola Grand Prix on an official Formula 1 game. Yes, after many, many years, we are back on F1 2013. To be fair, it's not been that long. We did play F1 2013, what was it, in 2019 I think, so two years ago we played it for like a one-off career mode video. But we're today going to specifically be playing the Imola race because Imola was on this game. This was the last official Formula 1 game game by Codemasters that actually had Imola in it. Since we've got this Grand Prix coming up, the race is tomorrow. We'd have a go at our own Imola GP on the official Formula 1 game on F1 2013. And to be fair, for me, as a Jensen Button fan, it's a nice return to this game. I'll be able to drive JB's McLaren. Obviously, this one wasn't a stonking McLaren really back in the day. It was a bit of a bucking Bronco, but it's going to be quite a nostalgic trip returning to this. Even these menus, though, this like takes it I know I had this same nostalgia trip when we played uh, played F1 2013 career mode for like a one-off video. Uh, like I said, back in 2019, I think it was, or maybe uh, early 2020 at least. Um, but it's all coming back to me because, you know, I, I haven't played the game since that video. Uh, the Autodromo Internationale Enzo E. Dino Ferrari. I've probably butchered that uh, pronunciation, so apologies to any Italians watching. But uh, here we are, F1 Classics Imola. Let's get into it. Oh, this is... This is going to be weird. This is going to be very weird. I didn't even play Imola that much, I remember, when like when the game first came out so many years ago. There it is. There it is. I mean, I'm not going to lie. The graphics aren't that bad, you know, for a game that's, what, eight years old? Like this little cutscene. Very nice. Reflections on the McLaren. Pretty decent, actually. It's not as bad as I remember it. I probably said the same thing or maybe not the same thing when I played it for career mode. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even play Imola that much. I remember I didn't actually get into the classic side of the game with the classic cars. Let's just dive in there. I don't think there's much need to do any setups or anything like that. I have literally no memory of any of the setups on this game now because it's all very, very different. So let's just go. Here we are, the old school intros, little flash here from pole to where we are, P11. Okay, here we go. It's been a long, long while since I've done a start on this game. There's no clutch. I'm holding A on my controller like that does anything. It doesn't, but we're underway. Five red lights at Imola. What an official Formula One game. How about that? And uh, graphically, like I said, it holds up pretty well. I'm being swamped though, and I've completely missed my break point. This, uh, I'm going to have to get used to the handling as well. This is very different. I'm on a controller, by the way, as well. So I don't even have the wheel to help me out a little bit. Because this was, I don't know, this was a bit of a pad game at certain circuits. I don't think Imola was maybe particularly a pad circuit, though. Um, ow! And Rosberg's out. Oh, Weber! Weber and Rosberg had contact there. It's all, all kicking off already here in Imola. And it's only lap one. We're up into P9. This McLaren never used to be a good McLaren in 2013. So I'm not expecting to get up majorly out of the order, but let's see what we can do in five laps. Just need to hopefully not lose the back end and just kind of, oh, Weber's swamping me. Oh, he's so much quicker. He's around the outside. We're going to hold it through here. Oh, my God. That is some very questionable turning it. This, I completely forgot how weird the handling models used to be on this game. That chicane's a lot easier than it was on a set of Corsa. Using some curves here. On the bottom right, they're very simplified heads-up display to what we have now on F1 2020 as we go down the inside, though, of Hulkenberg. And, oh, we don't slow it down. He's switched back me. There's some great racing going on. Around the outside, though, warning for causing collision, but it's fine. We'll deal with it. Up into P8. Pretty decent. Let's see if we can catch up to the Force India, as it is, of Sutil as we... Oh, yoy, yoy, questionable curbs as well. But we've survived one lap of Imola. Okay, we can settle down. Four laps to go, but this is very decent, actually. And, you know, if I got used to the handling, it's still quite a lot of fun, this game. F1 2013, definitely... Oh, God, I've got absolutely done by Hulkenberg. Uh, and now Weber. Oh, okay, I'm just very slow at this game on a controller. I'm going to now just concede that. Uh... I'm just not, I'm, I'm taking it too easy into these corners because I'm so, my muscle memory and my, even my hands when I use controller in F1 2020 is so used to 2020, you know, handling and like muscle memory of what you can and can't do. But this game, it was a very solid game for racing, but it was very unrealistic with how it was. Um, but it was a lot of fun still. 
But um, anyway, let's talk about Imola, though. Obviously, wanting to... Well, hopefully, we're going to be returning to uh, 2021, obviously. But this is the last current official F1 game that has Imola on its roster, as I have a beautiful... That was the Hot Lap Masterclass line there. I was reliving my F1 2013 days right there. I don't think I ever did Hot Lap Masterclass on F1 2013, though. I think I did it on all the usual circuits. Oh, my God. And a lot of you will not know what, I've e what I'm even talking about. A lot of you guys will have no clue what I mean by Hot Lap Masterclass. If you don't, look it up. It used to be an old series on my channel. And actually, what was one of the things I was known for back in the day when the community was very, very tiny back then. And I'm now making a butcher. I'm making an absolute butchering of Imola here on this game. I think I want to... Oh, no! Right, okay. You see there, issues. Lost connection to the game server. I'm, I'm not surprised this game's not even on Steam anymore. I've magically got into a better car now. Don't, don't ask questions. And also, that's quite funny to say, really, because nowadays, the Ferrari wouldn't be a much better car. It'd just be kind of a similar-ish sort of car with McLaren and Ferrari these days being on equal pace in the midfield. But here in 2013, uh, this was one of my favourite cars in this game, the Ferrari, because it looked sick. Like, this T-cam view is still lovely. It was one of, the, uh, one of the few cars that didn't have a step. Like, uh, Ferrari decided to cover their entire step nose in the kind of casing of the chassis. Whereas, like, Mercedes and Red Bull opted for just to keep the step there quite visibly. And, uh, you know what? I say, I thought it was just me being bad at driving with the McLaren. I think, honestly, it's just the car. The McLaren was so bad on F1 2013 versus the others. I had no chance of keeping the likes of Mark Webber behind. And even the Sauber is attacking me. But this Ferrari are more stable. They have more downforce involved. We're up into P2 now. We're going to chase after Nico Rosberg. And we've got Mark Webber behind me. But let's take this corner a bit better. That's a bit better. That's much better, actually. That was good. Use some curves here. Right, let's see if we can get some good racing for P1. Break here. Eey, eey, eey. Bit close. Oi, oi. Rear Rain wants to step out a bit. The Ferrari always was a bit of a lively car on this game. But, you know, I mean, I was going to say before. I think I meant started saying it before. But um, this track holds up, I think, to be honest. To say it's eight years old, you know. I, need, I know it's a little bit unrealistic in places with the, the scaling of certain corners and the curbs and whatnot. Maybe to what we've seen on a set of Corsa and in real life. But I, th I think as a little kind of, you know representation from a game eight years ago pretty sick pretty sick and like i said it, i think it's pretty funny that this is the last game the official last official f1 game that had imola and we're now we've waited so long and now finally we may get it with f1 2021 as oh god i've been done by weber where is vettel where is vettel well and truly he used to be a absolute master in this year oh and weber's absolutely held me up Hamilton's now arriving on the scene, and I've, I've used all my curves. Very much like I do on F1 2020 with my ERS. I've used all of it too early. Well, I've Rich Mix. Yes, look at that simplified menu on the left. Rich Mix. Catch up to Weber. Goes defensive. We're very much running the curves, but this game, the curves didn't exist, to be honest, in this game. It was just sort of just go where you want. Can we dive bomb down the inside of Weber? Yes, we can. Oh, it's close. What a move. Only oh, FI haven't said anything. That was a clean Clean overtake. Can I catch back up? No, I can't because I'm so bad at that corner. What is up with that corner, man? And what is this off-track nonsense? The grass is like sticky glue, huh? And also, I don't know what's up with that. those final two corners. I literally just can't get them right. That break zone is nasty. Right, battling Hamilton now. Alonso would be very, very happy if he was anywhere near battling Hamilton in the real life 2021 GP tomorrow. Right, shut the car in. Down. Three gears, third gear. Ooh, back end squirmed. Picked it up, though. And then this one. Float around the outside in second gear. Feed the power. Oh, what a little move. Go on. Alonso around the outside. Hamilton still there. Going to squeeze him out. And we've made the move. Fantastic little overtake. Right. Game back on Weber. See, I'm quick through here. I'm quick through here. I know how to break here and all that. It's just the downhill. Purple. 3.1. We are flying right now. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is... Ah, uh, to the inside. Here we go. Right, where am I breaking? Here? No. Ah, uh, lock up again. 128.4 by Rosberg. I can definitely beat that. Surely, surely. Just got to 
ride the curbs a little bit more and be a bit more confident and then also not mock up the last corner. Okay, that's pretty much... Oh, no, I thought it was flat. I thought it was flat. Went way too quick there. And now Hamilton's got me. Okay, got a bit too cocky. I actually still can't get my head around the handling model in this game. It does confuse me because, like, one minute I've got all the grip in the world and then the other minute the car just won't slow down and is very slippery. It makes... Uh, it's very, very confusing to me, but here we go again. Fighting with Hamilton here on the inside. Give him the room. Oh, I gave him the room to work with, and we're still there. We made it, and now Vettel might attack Hamilton. Right, can we get this corner right for once in our life? Okay, so I just need to break a lot earlier because it's downhill. I was just breaking way too late every single time. To be fair, I think what was happening there was I was looking at that corner, and my eyes and my memory were reverting back to a set of Corsa. And obviously, the last time I drove this circuit on a set of Corsa was with uh, 2020 cars. So a lot more downforce to, to stop the car with. Right, am I, am I good for fuel? I have no clue. I have no idea. Fuel optimum. Let's go to... Oh, oh, no! I was doing the fuel, goddammit. Standard mix. Oh, it's all gone horribly wrong. I, uh, let's hope I don't jinx Alonso, huh? Now we're fighting Sutil. And, and Buttons on my inside! Okay, well, you know what? It's quite fitting that we end end this race fighting the, the AI car that I was just driving as at the very start of the video. Can we get JB? Two former McLaren teammates. Easy. Oh, can't make a move there. Right, I'm going to save the Kurs for the last sector. Oh, oh, he says that as he takes out Jensen. Yeah, that seems about right. Penalty? Nah, unacceptable FI. Unacceptable. Absolutely criminal. 10 seconds. Are you kidding me? Well, this has been a very erratic return to Imola, I must say. I'm really hoping the next time we return to Imola on the official F1 game, I'm a lot better than this. But to be honest, you can't blame me. It's an eight-year-old game. I'm playing on a controller. My tyres are going off. But it's been a very fun little nostalgic trip and return to this circuit on F1 2013. Guys, if you did enjoy the video and return to Imola on the official F1 game, then hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you aren't around here, do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. And let me know your predictions, maybe, since this is on the Saturday of Imola. Let me know all your predictions for the real-life Imola Grand Prix tomorrow. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.